Hello student, let's try to understand one more problem student. The question is calculate the cell potential of galvanic cell in which following reaction takes place. So what are there student? 2 Cr. It is reacting with 3 T3 do plus. It is converting 2 Cr3 plus plus 3 Cd. We got to know student chromium and cadmium if you talk. So, which one is getting oxidized student? Chromium is getting oxidized. So, chromium is going to be a node student. And it is going to reduce, so it is going to be cathode. So, it is very simple. So, E naught cell, if you are writing a student, E naught cell. So, what is E naught? What is cathode? CD2 plus upon CD minus E naught CR. 3 plus upon CR. Now student, what is the CD values of CD student? So the value of CD if you talk student, it is minus 0 0.40. Then minus, what is the value of the, uh, this is the cathode and what is the anode value student? Chromium, it is minus 0 0.74. Now it is the minus 0 0.40 plus 0 0.74 so how much it is going to be a student what the value you are going to get a student it is going to 0 0.34 volt so this is our required answer now what they are saying calculate the delta g naught for the so delta g naught is equal to minus nfe not cell of n value it is quite critical to find n value how to because here is 0 and here is 3 plus. So, 2 molecules are there, 2, 3, 6. So, n value it is going to be 6 student. So, here how can we do a student if you are solving? So, here is the minus 6 multiplied by 96,500 E not cell. It is 0 0.34 volt. So, it is coming how much student? Minus 196. 860 coulomb volt per mole so this is our answer student even one joule is equal to one coulomb volt so you can write this value in the term of joule student 196860 joule per mole so this is our required answer student thank you so much for watching students